interrupt your regularly scheduled programming to bring you some breaking news. There's been reports all over the area of something crazy going on, something big. People's homes, their minds even, are being taken over by something called, what is it they're calling it? They're calling it Bad Movie Debate. I like to call everybody nerds, but... In a loving way. Freshen it up. And okay, stuff. Yeah, so sometimes you're like, like, assholes, what's up? Yeah, but like, I don't know, it's like, it's hard, to, starting it is hard. Because you gotta like, kind of get into character, you know? Okay, okay. So it's like, kind of weird to be like, what's the perfect, what's, what's the, the intro for today? What's the whole intro? What's the, what's the whole what's vibe? The vibe? What's the what's tone the we're about to I get it, right because now. I see like, it's hard to warm up. Right. Be like, all right. Exactly. So go. it's like, what are we doing? What are we doing? What What's are we doing? Sometimes it's like, oh my god, all this anxiety. I, what do I do? And just mm-hmm. like, what up, nerds? <laughs> <You're back. laughs> Yo! <laughs> we did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. We're here. <laughs> we did it. I'm finally, I'm finally doing another one. Hell yeah! I'm stoked to be here. For this. It's gonna be fucking lit. This one was not what I was expecting. Agreed. Because Can we just go ahead and say that now. It was both good and bad. Yeah, there was a lot of questionable material, but a lot of like good. I was able to be like, huh. So when huh. when it's actually the whole thing wrapped, wrapped up, I was like, okay, mm-hmm. I see why you said you told me that people like the book a lot, uh-huh. but that they didn't like the movie, and I get why. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was I was watching it, and I was like. Oh, I could see, like, I could see, like, the reading of it, of what was oh, happening, yeah. you know yeah. what I mean? And I was like... But it does not play out well on screen. I thought, I was like, I was like, I can see the writing. Okay. It's well written, for okay. sure. Okay, yeah, you know what I mean? But, like, I don't know. We'll talk about it more later. Um, but yeah. I'm just gonna say... Is that a good or a bad thing, what we just talked about? Because I don't know still. I'm still kind of up in the air about all of about it. About? All of it. Just everything. <laughs> but whether it's good or bad. <laughs> okay, so. I think I'm saying, I think I'm saying it's good, though. <laughs> like, you think you think it was good. I think overall it was bad. I had a very interesting experience. Yeah, was, that was a roller coaster of <laughs> yeah, a movie, I you know will say. I mean? yeah, Austin exactly. had to leave. Yeah. Hi. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good reminder. Austin is our uh, live studio audience, so we're going to just, like, we're going to defer to Austin every once in a while. Every time we need to. Because I think we all, all three of us had, like, a very interesting experience, so Austin will chime in from time to time. Uh, So the laugh track said there won't be one because it was terrifying. Uh, Yeah, I don't, I don't think this is any laughing matter. (laughs) It was a pretty suspicious laugh. Track. Sometimes <laughs> it was definitely. Uh, I think Austin's gonna have a lot of input on this because I feel like Austin what, like experienced the emotional <laughs> roller coaster that was this movie oh. more deeply than either of us did. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I've had a pretty intense experience. I have to admit, um, for not. some for some strange reason. Um, but before we get into all of that, who who's even talking? Y'all know me. I'm the uh, I'm the fucking host. Y'all have heard Austin. Who's this other person? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> even are you? We've been talking Who so hard. You? We've been talking for like two or three minutes, and it's just like, who even is this? <laughs> like, we haven't even been like done an intro. We just went like, real, no, this is great. <laughs> fucking, who are you? <laughs> eating popcorn in the middle of a podcast. I'm <laughs> Andy, and I'm eating popcorn. Um, that's we her last watched name. A movie. <laughs> that's her called. Yeah. The woman in the window. Yeah. Yeah, man. And we basically watched a woman watch a murder and the mystery that followed. Yeah, dude. It was which is pretty fucking crazy. So familiar of a plot line. Yeah. Hmm. I've seen it before. Uh, but perfect segue. Oh, here it comes. Have you ever seen it in one of your top five mystery movies? I have, do but I know. I always you have. do it. I know. I need to know the top five. Of course, I've seen it. Uh, no, Is I'm it saying, in my top I know, five? I know that there's a movie with this plot line that's definitely going to be in your top five. Well, yeah, well, but again, we'll 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 talk about it later. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do the top fives and we'll talk about it because <laughs> you're right. You're I'm, I'm just predicting right. that for sure. Oh yeah, you're 100 percent right. Um, <laughs> you're 
You're so right. It's so obvious. Um, what are your top fives? Okay, so my top four I have nailed down. So Clue, yes. which I know you already knew mm. for sure. Flames. Um, <laughs> Fucking mad one gone. Mal- Maltese Falcon. Oh, yeah. That's definitely, definitely in my top five. Mm-hmm. Uh, the old Murder on the Orient Express from yeah. the, from the seventies. Yeah, not that the one. Gal Gadot one. Actually, I really like. It was the, a good one. Which one? wait is that the one with the most new Poirot? Yeah, the, yeah, yeah so with Gal Gadot. Actually, I and don't like that one. You didn't like that? No, I oh didn't because I thought it was like ridiculously deviated from the the book. But the yeah, it was very the different. one before that, which is still <laughs> recent. It's in like twenty tens ish. Yes, was also has like a crazy good cast. Wait, was like, that like Emily a B- Blunt was in it? Oh, wait, so was that a BBC? Thing? Yes. Okay. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's it was with be David better. Suchet. It oh, was really oh, good. I didn't know that, that was. I did not know that that was the thing. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, freaking excellent. All right. But, so yeah, but not in my not in my top five. Just <laughs> and another excellent one. Wow. Well, yeah. Uh, but then you know, funny, I yeah. like can't settle on a fifth one. Mm-hmm. But the ones that I feel like you would respect of my ones that I can't settle from a fifth one are North by Northwest or Dial M for Murder. Mm. I feel like. Both solid. Mm, they are, but I'm just so, again. I'm showing myself a little bit too much before we get into it. But like, I'm a big Hitchcock fan, so what? Like, I gotta say, like, North by Northwest, right? Yeah, Pretty I'm good. sure. I'm, like, I was that's like, gotta be the one. I am expecting a Hitch a Hitchcock heavy top five from you. So I really want to know what these are. Yeah, that's kind of. I mean, there's only one. It just happens to be like the most on the nose one. <laughs> the movie we just watched. No, the movie we just <laughs> watched. It's supposed to be like very on the nose. Um, so my top five, no particular order, as always. Um, seven. Oh, okay. Brad Pitt. Okay, Morgan so Freeman. I've only seen so it once. Beautiful. It's worth a rewatch. I and know. then that guy that we don't talk about anymore that was a really good actor for a long time until he got in trouble. Until we <laughs> yeah, so, canceled him. Yeah, but he was... It was very good in that movie, but anyway, so that's a that's one, mm. mm-hmm. not number one, but like but oof, A1, so okay. fucking good. Um, I'm basic. Knives Out. Knives Out, such a goddamn you know, good mystery. Austin, back me up here. Definitely on my Love list. Love Knives Out. Oof. So good. It was See? such a good movie. It's so, so fun. fucking good. And, and also, not terrifying. Like the yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't. To clarify, Spoilers. I do not like a scary mystery. I like yeah. a cozy mystery, and mm. this was. Not cozy. This was an anxious mystery. No, it was not. Yeah, Incredibly. It was, but yeah. how? Still beating very See, fast. again, you guys are all proving my point <laughs> more. Which is that it's rear window. It's is that your thesis? No, 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 no. It's good. That, that just that it's good. Um. Anyway, what was my next one? I said Knives Out. Uh, what was my next one? Oh, it was Rear Window. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, literally I didn't on, expect that one. Literally on my list. Yeah, they... It's like the plot obviously is so reminiscent to Rare Window, and I was just like, and like I've written this down before I'd seen this. I didn't know shit about this movie other than it was a popular book, mm. and it seemed like kind of basic. It didn't do good, great cast, but like it was not great. And then I was like, holy shit, it's Rare Window, but different. And maybe it was actually not like it was like maybe it was actually kind of good mm-hmm. once we get into it a little bit more so all right it was just really good we'll um, talk more about that a lot <laughs> yeah <laughs> for a bit clue number it's just it has to be on <laughs> yeah. any top mystery list it's so it good. is my favorite probably my how favorite could you ever get ever. every answer you want perfectly explain that <laughs> like, it's just so Excellent. good it is so good um and then chinatown not a murder mystery a but mystery. like there is a deep mystery. There's murder and violence and like all that. And a classic. For and good. it's just so good. I'm also up for a Chinatown rewatch. It would be, I would be, again, I'd be remiss if I didn't. Mm-hmm. I'd be like, oh, what a piece of shit. Um, so as we talked about, I think we've already said it. Um, we're talking about The Woman in the Window. Netflix, 2021. 2020. 2021? Yeah. Oh, damn. Okay. 2021. I thought it was more recent than that. Yeah, no, it's just been a couple but years. That, okay, so given that there are spinoffs from this movie already, it makes sense. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm. But 
the point being, it's pretty recent. It's got a great cast. Amy Adams, like... Amy Adams, I uh, thought, did a great job. Gary Oldman, out of nowhere. Also did a great out job. Out of fucking I, nowhere. But also he... Why did they need him in that role? I <laughs> know. It's like if you're gonna if you're, if gonna, you're gonna pay gonna him, flex, if you're gonna pay it, role? if you're gonna pay him, fucking give him more. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. come on. But again, but again, we'll talk about it. Pay a better uh, writer. <laughs> we'll talk about it. Um, so the woman in the window. Here uh, we're gonna do some some ratings. Um, Rotten Tomatoes critic score twenty five percent. So I actually don't know anything about Rotten Tomatoes. That's so, bad, right? That's like twenty five percent out of the So that's 100%. the critics. That's the people who get paid to watch movies mm-hmm. and talk about. They it. say so. It's, like, it's the failing. New York. That is a failing. I have a quote, I have a quote Austin about Watts. this movie F. from the uh, from the the New Yorker. I'm gonna quote the New Yorker. Uh, <laughs> right, well, like, I'm dying like, to know what they. Just... The top critics shit is like that's the the meat. So okay. one in four people who get paid to do this was like that good. It was all right. Okay, so that's still a failing grade. Yeah, it's twenty five percent on yeah, the test. That's yeah, that's okay, but but it's now a I'm, hard F minus. Like, so a, was this F minus from the New York, the New Yorker? We'll get to that. <laughs> so actually, that's actually very interesting. So, but they also do the audience score. Oh, okay. So, like, just the common man, Joe Mug, Joe Average, you know, mm-hmm. you know, working his store Joe. typical nine to five. Yeah, you know, <laughs> just getting yeah, by. Yeah, doesn't count. You don't <laughs> Oh, no, no, Wrong no. Show. Wrong show. We can we can have a whole separate podcast about The Bachelor if we want, but that's not what we're doing Salt. right now, shall we? Sorry, continue. <laughs> just want to just, maybe we'll do a Bachelor podcast. That'd be super fun. But we'll do it later. <laughs> but not we'll after, after we talk about like maybe, your window. No, because I could like talk the about The window. Bachelor. Like I could I could get into it, uh, but we have a mission. Um, what was I even saying? Audience score. The, Common common guy, uh, thirty three percent. So even the common man liked still it more, failing. but it's still pretty shit <laughs> for Rotten Tomatoes. What do you get to give me your score of it? Because I'm interested to know out of ten, how do you rank this movie? To be continued. Um, <laughs> I gotta get through all my points. <laughs> Sorry, because I feel like my rating is gonna be like, I, I don't need to say it just yet. Uh, mystery it got it exactly. in keeping with the theme um imdb just basic users 5.7 out of 10 so like mid pretty okay. mid but leaning towards pretty good you know so not bad metacritic 41 percent from metacritic out of 100 what, so like, what, what is metacritic it's <laughs> it's similar to rotten tomatoes but they don't just do movies they do like Everything, video games, oh, cool, like, cool, cool. Like okay. any like vi- right. mostly visual media, but like anything. Like they have professionals and they have the users, okay, and stuff. And like their professional opinion, forty one, fair of hundred. Their users, like Rotten Tomatoes, five point one out of ten. So like mid, mid. So like mid. very low Rotten Tomatoes. Everybody else like it's alright, and then the critics are like this fucking and like the. Bougie bitches are like two thumbs down. Well, I feel like wah, that tracks. Wah. You know what I mean, Austin? <laughs> Austin just scoffed. Wah, wah. <laughs> that one here for is the sound yeah. effects. Okay. Nailed it. Nailed it. Okay. Thanks, baby. <laughs> I do think the critics, like the bougie critics, are too harsh because it doesn't mm-hmm. deserve twenty five percent. Yeah, but fifty percent is fair. It's like. Yeah. You know, there's some good parts. Or you know. some good parts. I thought actually <laughs> the yeah, there were you know, totally had merits. We talked about the music. Really, really uh interesting. I do want to talk about the music a little bit more because mm-hmm. I don't I didn't really like pay attention to the music, but uh we can actually we'll start with that. I just gotta do the re- the review quotes real quick. Because oh, yeah, I always yeah, find yeah, I always try to find the juiciest ones. Like for good and bad. Um foreshadowing. Like I did er- I did this earlier foreshadowing. Um a good review is from Richard Brody for The New Yorker. Oh, I The good review comes the good from the review. New Yorker. Okay. God damn. It says <clears throat> quote Wright's film serves as a corrective to the all too common approach to movie making, which prioritizes the script bound 
parsing of character traits over the composition of audiovisual experience. What that do you think is about that? so on the nose for a Hitchcock inspired film. Exactly. That comment is like. But so he's what just he's like, saying he's, is. He's saying that it's, it is done in the style of Hitchcock and that it did a good job at that. Yeah, and I agree. better, better, <laughs> better than others in recent yes. history. Is it? Is that? That's to like your what he's saying. A um, like a dig at any, any other. I don't think it's like a direct dig. Mm-hmm. I think it's just like, eh, in the modern era, everybody does Hitchcock, and no, like, of course, of course, well. who, who, of course, we're seeing Hitchcock inspired movies coming out now. Mm-hmm. Like it tracks with his era and like inspiration and stuff. Um, <clears throat> I don't think it's a personal dig. I think it's very common. There's a lot of Hitchcockian modern movies and stuff, but like he's saying, this one does it better. Does it better? I and I think so too. To be honest, I agree with that. I will say that kind of his review is not wrong. It yeah. does do it better. Right. Than it's a. Lot. a it was one of the. I will say again, the scores on Rotten Tomatoes. Um, uh-huh. <laughs> that was one of the. I had to go digging for that good review. Well, okay, <laughs> like, right. I had to I had to scroll through a lot of splats <laughs> on uh, Rotten Tomatoes to find like a few quality good quotes to pick from. Were <laughs> like, the uh, the scathing reviews were they like really hard or are there they... was a lot of like pretty harsh ones, ones that were trying to be harsh but honestly in themselves weren't very well written, which is interesting that they get paid to write about movies. But I was like, this s- statement's kind of not good. The way they wrote it, you know mm, what I mean? Mm-hmm. That was just like interesting. Um, I'm just being prejudiced to my side because I say it's good, so I'm talking shit about the bad reviewers. But, all right, um, all right. So all there was us plenty. uneducated people. There were plenty. Bad. There were plenty. There was a, a lot of really bad reviews. Okay, so what? What? Tell me, tell me, tell me. All right. So this one comes from Jake Acolyte is what I have written down. I don't think that's his actual last name. I think that was an <laughs> autocorrect. His name is definitely Jake. But his last name probably is not Aculite. But he, he's anonymous. Got it. But this is for the Associated Press, so okay, pretty high okay. caliber. A, another trustworthy source. Of course, um, he said, "Quote: This one's this one's kind of fun." Quote: With a churning score and a few flashy camera tricks, Wright lays it on thick, but the pacing and rhythm. Perhaps the result of a lengthy post-production period of reshoots and recuts feel wrong from the first minutes. It's a shame. End quote. <laughs> Damn. You want to talk about laying it on thick? This boy had mad bad opinions I, about this movie. Dave, I feel you. I, <laughs> he was I upset. He was I, upset. He, was, he, he felt like he wasted his time in this he's, movie. He's not necessarily completely wrong. But, but you want to talk about laying it on thick. I'm just going to say. Oof, <laughs> that was oh a my scathing. God, that was a rough one. <laughs> That's one of my favorite things is looking up the reviews and being like, who's saying who's the saying- worst shit about whatever movie and we're how, talking about? And like, how much do we trust <laughs> like, these people? Yeah. Like, <laughs> but like, Associated <laughs> yeah, Press. Yeah, because these are solid. This guy got paid from like the news. That's like the got- top of the news Someone to say got- that. <laughs> got paid to watch this movie. That is just like, and just say the most like foul shit about it. Just yeah. like fuck this movie, <laughs> fuck this movie in like four gonna, sentences. It's a shame. It. Is the last oh sentence in his is it from the quote? So like sad. it's ridiculous. It's so, fucking amazing. So your what would be your good side to this movie? Then, like what 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 are your major? Um, I'm sorry, I mean your major downside to this movie. My downside? Because if you liked it, I want to know uh, what you thought was not good. We kind of teased it earlier. I think um, Gary Oldman, like... Was not good? No, he was amazing. Oh, okay. It was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It was to the point where I was like, why put him in this very minimal role? I feel That's like, like kind of just like, he's just kind of there, but you know he's there because it's Gary Oldman. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like... Like, did you hire a, like, pretty shit written role and hire an amazing actor to bring some life to it? You were like, we got the budget. We'll we'll hire Gary Oldman. He'll make this bad writing for this character. No, he'll, work. Make this, he'll make it totally every, work. Because every, every time I see Gary Oldman on the screen, I'm like, God, 
he did it again. But then I'm like thinking back about it and I'm like, that character was could have been written a little bit more intriguing. That character would have been you know what I mean? written in a book and been that interesting. Here's mm-hmm. the main overarching thing mm-hmm. that I think they did wrong was that this movie mm-hmm. was so, so dramatic for what yeah. it, was. it was. And as a book, I feel like no wonder people loved it. That would have read great. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Holy shit. Like, we were crazy. talking about it. We were talking about it. Like, I could see watching it. I could see what, it, like, the words on the page and, like, flipping the page. Like, it made me feel like I was, like, I'm reading a book. Like, I'm, like, right. I, like, I'm, like, this is the pacing of a book and stuff. And, like, for me, I'm, like, what a great adaptation of a book to edit it in a way that makes it feel like you turning the page it really right. quickly. It's actually, like, I'm glad you pointed that out. Like, is I that, don't think I would have thought of that. That's really Like, is that not, like what an adaptation is like how can right. you hit the how can you how can you hit the source material that hard without and, like right emulating it so maybe in that, your media that, that uh, you're doing it you know what i mean that reviewer was probably totally right then about the mm-hmm. the editing that was choppy maybe it was just that pacing that you liked so much because mm-hmm. it's like again it's like because like that's another thing about good like we, we were talking about this earlier too before we started uh, watching it um comic book movies like live action ones mm-hmm. there's a rhythm that you can do <clears throat> in um comic book movies that emulate the pacing and reading of a graphic novel mm-hmm. how long the shots are there how how quickly we bring dialogue back in because sometimes it's like like in the new batman movie it was like why are there so many moments where he's just standing there looking at the city and fucking Nirvana, I think it is. <laughs> it's just playing while he talks about his thoughts because that's what it's like reading a graphic novel. That's what you look at. Those so are the panels and everything. stuff. And like the pacing of it is good. Sometimes they do it really on the nose, like in the Batman. Mm-hmm. Sometimes they do the pacing similar to a graphic novel like they do in The Dark Knight. That. Where it's different, but it still emulates it's still the, the source material of reading this type of reading. That's you know what awesome. I mean? I which which makes both that. of those movies good, and this one good. Because mm. the reading of a mystery thriller novel. So How quickly do you turn those pages when you're fucking going, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Here's my <laughs> counter argument. All right. Just because it does a good job with the source material doesn't make it a good movie unfortunately because that's fair. i do feel like if you went that's fair just by like all of the the film aspects like cinematography mm-hmm. aspects mm-hmm. of this mm-hmm. movie mm-hmm. um they there were a lot of things that checked boxes as a good movie so mm-hmm. like well it's netflix all, produced so of course yeah, it's so going to be course, well right? done like, however visually they do it. it was good the like the pacing like you said mm-hmm. andrew saying mm-hmm. The score was awesome mm-hmm. and did a really, really good job of like bringing you through the entire. It was unsettling. Plot. Exactly, <laughs> like, it was like, great. With good, yeah, with good results for what they were doing. Yeah, but uh, I really think that they they were working with like a hard s- script, mm. and it just turned out bad because because mm. how mm. do you turn this ridiculous story mm. into? six Hitchcock movies in one because we definitely just saw several at the so, same time. So which this is, is a, cool. <laughs> this is exactly it is cool because I think they executed it well. I have more to talk about that later. Uh my overall like thesis point mm-hmm. about it. Um but it's just like the writing of the script was probably not good. And yeah. you can see that. And you can see that <laughs> totally when you watch the movie. But the editing saves it. The pacing of it. Yeah. Because that's when movies are fucking made, is with the editing process. I totally That's agree. why that takes so long. I totally Like, agree regardless of uh, 
CGI, it like because that take that shit takes fucking forever to do right. on a big scale. But also, it's like it's like like a conscious decision to be like, what do we like? Okay, this is what we have. Mm, let's yeah. if we cut it like this, it could work. And I think that I think that you can see that process oh, in this movie. Oh, and and but that I'm like they nailed it. You know what I mean? It's like because again, it's a it's a kind of a shallow movie at the surface. It's like again, I've seen this. Like yes, it's like I, it's nostalgic. Agreed. Like great, oh my god, great acting. Netflix did it. Of course, I'm gonna fucking watch it. You know what I mean? But yeah. I think like they almost made a really bad movie, I but accident, but accidentally, but accidentally <laughs> made like a. All right, all right, okay. that was all right. That was interesting. That so, was a bit of a trip of a watch. You know what I mean? Totally, totally agree that the post production on this is good. That is like key. overall pro. key. The editing yeah. saves like, it. It Netflix, saves it. Sick, but <laughs> I think that this is some of the worst acting I've seen in a while because my literal first note was. Oh my gosh, was, she's bringing out her notes. It's, it's bad. Get, it's the acting was the acting. It's bad. Is my first note. By who specifically? <laughs> because so it started. I think it started with her talking to her husband. Who can we do spoilers? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. No. Okay, if so you spoilers. if you're listening to this and you haven't seen the fucking movie, then you're this point an was idiot. Lost. Yeah. Like so, fucking don't <laughs> watch yeah, the movies. He's like, dead, <laughs> and it is so obvious from the very that beginning he's that he's dead, dead, dude. Yeah. And they oh, don't do yeah. a good job with the acting, man. Yeah, the acting of it. The acting Which, of it is not in the, great. In the beginning, at least. But I do like the writing of it. I like <laughs> the like. I do like the writing of like, of like. Oh, every time, like she's talking to her husband, having a conversation with her husband about what's currently going on with her, right. and then her therapist reaches out to her immediately after the first couple of times she does it. I was like, yes, that is a very good foreshadowing. That's like super subtle, but like noticeable at the same time and I felt, like yes. to some it's gonna be obvious to some it's like not and like it works it works on both ends and i totally work because it's well. like oh like that's interesting like it like hooks you or it's or you're like later you're like oh shit i yeah. didn't even think about that like and it works on both ends like i think that's i think that's very interesting and oh, like totally. smart writing totally i think the that they the they entire like screenplay awesome it's just the dialogue got really bad <laughs> dialogue is so fucking hard the dialogue it's so is hard so bad. it's and, bad like, i also think that that's why i've been having a tr hard time deciding whether it was the acting that was bad or the writing that was bad and it's only because the dialogue is bad it's a it's fine line it's a fine line austin hmm. yeah do you think it was the writing or the di or the acting uh, so I'm gonna just have a completely unpopular opinion. This movie was not made for me. I didn't like it at all. Uh, I didn't think I would. I was too distracted by the music, the suspenseful music, the slow camera turns, the weird angles, the everything in the movie telling me to be scared. And I was so anxious that I didn't pay attention to anything else. I, I was just totally about, agree. Well, what's gonna happen next? I don't even want to look. See Although this. I wasn't even paying attention to half of those things that you're talking about. This is um, they were telling me I had to be afraid. Okay, so this is like really amping up to her being on my side right now because this like is, this my major thesis. Yeah, that's exactly what is, it's supposed to do. I I and I agree with that, but like Austin, I don't like it. See, so I don't like. Now, it see, we're they, talking about object uh, or subjectivity. Let me say, I am. I'm going to interject this one time, and this is not my episode. I'm not going to say anything else. <laughs> but they made an entire satire movie off of the fact that there's all these, like, mm -hmm. intense things going on with the one that you told me about with Kristen Bell. It's like, oh, oh yeah, she's the peering out the window woman slowly. in yes, the window across the street up. from the man through the door. So like, it's, the reason, yeah. that's why yeah. they make fun of it. And it's because of that, and it's because they tell you exactly what to think the whole way, like with your emotions. They just kind of like yeah. hype you up the entire time and don't give you a chance to like breathe yeah, and that Kristen think Bell, about what's going on. Yeah, that Kristen Bell show is an incredible side satire of this movie and the industry, that specific and, subgenre. And it's so good. It's yeah, hilarious. Yeah, they're making fun of this movie. They're making fun yeah, of Yeah, and it's hilarious. <laughs> they're making the fun of the fact that this movie is also just like a complete copy of another movie mm -hmm. 
it's Which, multiple again, movies. <laughs> like, it can be even. read as good or bad that they did this good homage to Hitchcock. But yeah, hey, hey, what is it they say? They say, good artists create. Great artists stand. So. Thievery. I mean, not no. bad. I thought it was fun as an homage, but. <laughs> but, but like Austin. Did I enjoy watch? Actually, I guess I did enjoy watching the movie. That's that. It would be a lie to say that because at the end, watching all that suspenseful stuff and with multiple people people around, mm-hmm. awesome. But I would have hated that if I had just picked it on like a Saturday night at home. So, okay, I'm just gonna have to Different go ahead. Personality. I'm gonna have to reveal my my major thesis. I feel I'm hyping it up because I feel like it's such a breakthrough because I just experienced it. So this movie gave me a panic attack and this movie is watch is what <laughs> well, a panic attack is like. Yes. Oh my God. This movie is totally what a panic attack is That's why you're uncomfortable like. by like, Oh, I could do, I could make it through with people. And like, if we were like joking about it, like, and stuff like, Oh, that'd be good. But if I watched it by myself, that would fucking suck. It's like, yeah, yes. like a panic attack or Requiem Austin. Exactly. <laughs> Requiem for a dream. Do not oh watch it by God. yourself. Oh it's God. funny. It's funny when people can be like, Haha, yeah, like it's here's a bad. joke. Uh, it's never good. Such bad it's vibes. not a good one. Watch it though. It's a good movie, but like be prepared. Austin, um, Austin and I both <laughs> don't good. like bad vibes. Movies, <laughs> and that's why we watch things like the bachelorette <laughs> and love Island because sometimes you just another tease to our future bachelor bachelorette. Show. <laughs> we're going to, we're going to start producing. But I'm sorry, I've interrupted your thesis. That's pretty much it, is that it, like, that, like, it's interesting to me that y'all are like, I didn't like that, I didn't like that, and it's like, yeah, panic attacks are, like, not supposed to be enjoyable, and I'm like, I wasn't enjoying it for a moment, I was like, ooh, this is really intense, like, there's a lot going on and stuff, but it was following the narrative of the story, like, yeah, I was like, that's relatable, that's what a panic attack is like, and then, like, it wraps up and it's like you go up and then also you find out that the original thing that set you off on a panic attack is kind of fucking stupid because it like yep, the sun yep, yep. is that's the one a, that was doing it you're like that's actually Holly. great exactly right did you it actually was, I it. I no, it was so I fucking obvious no, hold on wait wait, 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 wait. wait I want to hear both of these I because I didn't predict it profound. <laughs> How how did you know? How Please did elaborate. you think? Yeah. So Please elaborate. I thought that the son was the killer because I kind of thought for a different reason. I thought that the dad, because he was like, oh, my dad's just a really good guy. He just like does this kind of stuff sometimes. He acts mm-hmm. like this sometimes. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. But really, he was just playing up like the feel bad for me thing so that he was oh. close to her. Mm-hmm. So I was thinking that like. That was your initial was reaction? My, seeing my that initial, scene? What? Your initial reaction was, oh, he's playing her? No, dad? now that I'm looking back at it, like oh, he was okay. just playing her for that. But when he was saying that originally, I was like, he definitely killed the mom because of whatever the dad has been saying to him about her. Oh, like, I don't think he was some kind of like, oh, well, that I was just, your initial thought. I mean, it's just. Oh my god, that never that never crossed my fucking mind. I was like, I was like, he's weird. Well, like, keep an eye on that. Like, wait for the wait for the. I more mean, details into him. Some kind of mental illness, like you could tell the son. Yes, unfortunately, the unfortunately, the I did write down like, All like tested. in my notes. I, yeah, <laughs> unfortunately, I was just like, I was like, wow, very heavy, heavily, heavily handedly autistic. Well, made, the first they time they we see him, and then deal of it, exactly, right? it, it's like, exactly, it's like, it's like, okay, like, okay, just like I don't know, it was, it was just like. It, totally it, agree. It just was like, okay, we get it. Like, they, he, he, I don't it know. Was it was just like, they were very, very well said. heavy handed about it. But then, like, it's the next time you see him, there's like none of that. And it's like, okay, so they're just going to dump it all at the front. And then, like, I don't know. Like, if it's a like, part of the character, lace it out throughout. Don't just be like, oh, hey, yeah, hey we're going to, hey, what? here's the, here's the disability that okay. caused the problem the whole time. <laughs> Whoa, be scared of people who are mentally ill. Whoa. Anyway, he's going to be a normal character throughout the rest of the movie until the very end. Oh, it's totally crazy. Fine. Fuck uh, off. I don't, I, hate, I do not like that. Agreed. That's probably the thing I don't like the most. That, that <laughs> like, was very honestly, well said actually. too. I didn't even notice that they toned down the mental illness so much throughout mm-hmm. and then really like oh it's from the first scene first time you see him the second time it's a hundred to zero so it's here's gone. i'm gonna i'm gonna it's list like, what are you the, doing i'm gonna list the many things in this movie that 
did not need to be there in order for this to be a good movie, but were liberally sprinkled in. All right, bet. Uh, Let's do it. How about them freaking fully defining agoraphobia in the film for no reason at all? Like, totally, un completely unnecessary. So you're saying her, 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 experience, her plans to go outside and do an outdoor vacation with her family and she was the reason that they all died, wasn't going to make her scared to go outside again? Well, I was saying that they didn't need to literally have her have a conversation. Oh, I'm agoraphobic, that means. But number two on my list, her being agoraphobic at all, totally did not need to be part of this movie. She could have totally <laughs> easily been a snoop that witnessed this without yeah. her being... In no, this no, no, because I got, I got two things to say to that one. No, because a lot of the major plot points that she finds out and like the events of what happened that she finds out happened during the day during normal business hours. If she still had her job, she would be at work and wouldn't see it. And she nothing, could practice it, from home. And nothing would have happened. She but could it, work from home. She'd be busy. She'd have a fucking kid. To be like, why do you hate yourself? Or whatever kid therapists talk to kids about. Like, I don't know, man. She'd people, be busy. She people, wouldn't be like, she wouldn't be bored, like, looking out the window. Maybe she's a bird huh, watcher. New neighbors. She's a bird watcher. She don't talk about no damn birds. That's because she's watching her neighbors. Yeah, because birds are boring as fuck to yeah, watch. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and then suddenly she decides to only watch the neighbors that just moved in and no one else. We did not learn a single thing about any other neighbor. Because nothing was walk. happening. Because she's been no, watching there was them. That one kid that played trumpet at the beginning and the end. Oh my unlike god. Unlike the metaphor for autism that only came in <laughs> at the beginning and then at the end when you find out that this child is, again, spoiler, a serial killer, which was another thing that was a completely unnecessary addition, in my opinion. Was they, it? They don't even really lay into anything from the beginning again. He's suddenly, like, perfectly confident and social and bashing her face in and drowning her. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Mm -hmm. He was acting all along to try to get her to feel sorry for him and trust him, and that's why he was. That's mm. a totally. Mm. <laughs> that's a totally mm. valid. That's probably not what they were going for. No, the but Austin, honestly, I think Jake and I are probably way overthinking this, and you're probably right that he was just playing her the whole time. No, I'm definitely not he overthinking it. I'm definitely not overthinking <laughs> Jake it. Let and me I go are back. Looking at each anyway, other like we're totally anyway, not overthinking this. I'm not overthinking this. Anyway, let me go back to my panic attack theory, because <laughs> like, I had a panic attack watching this movie. Um, now. Just now? Not just now, but okay. watching the movie. But, like, it was just like, I don't know. I'm just going to wrap it up. <laughs> panic attack. Because it's so stupid. But I was just like, at the end of it, I was like, holy shit, dude. This is exactly what it's like to have a panic attack. So, basically, it's it's super dumb. A lot of weird things start to happen, like when you have a panic like attack. A panic attack. And then, like, you start looking into it too hard. And that makes it worse. Shocker. And then... Shit gets real hard, real fast, and it's like boom, 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 boom. All the conversations we had about like, is is she actually talking to these people, mm -hmm. or is this her, or is this again uh, well uh, right? Is uh, this heaven, or is this a well <laughs> no a well a well done adaptation of a book by visualizing inner monologue? If you were reading that book, she would be thinking those things to herself. With all those people there. What oh, were these yeah. people saying? Yeah. Like, that's an internal conversation. But to see that on a, in a movie and incorporate it because it's such an intense part of the story, yeah. is she oh, crazy yeah. or not? Yeah. You have to put those people in a room, but then do something crazy like the car accident being in her living room to, to juxtapose, to like, is this actually happening or not? I think it was and we still don't really have an answer to that. Even yeah. though, spoiler, she turns out to be right. No, the end, I think they tied it all up with a nice, oh, she was sane the whole time, Bo, aside from the, aside from the car, we have nothing else that looked like it was fake, right? But at the end, at the I very know. end. We, we had a lot of, like, so, comments towards the other, d to each other um, during the movie, watching it being like, is this actually happening? Like, oh, is totally. She, is, like, exactly. But, but and that was like the, that was like the climax of that. They wrapped everything you know I mean? else up 
so tightly in the end. I was like, why? Did oh, with a pretty a bow. It was such a happy ending. Oh they didn't yeah. Need to do that they because didn't need to make her because a book you can have you can take the time to make somebody read mm-hmm. all the different endings and like whether they're good or bad mm-hmm. and wrap them up. You can't do that in a movie that's a thriller because you can do that in a movie that's a comedy where it's like the end of the movie and the big food fight happens and they go up to high five and it's like into directed by mm-hmm. and then it's like this character went off to be a harvard professor like the end of fucking animal House. you know what i mean you can't like wrap up all these stories super quick and easy in this oh, kind totally. of movie because yeah, people would be like that was so shallow that was so fake so it's like they should have they, they have to casually do it in the background and still focus on the main story because that's why you the trailer made you want to care about that main story that's what you want to watch Oh, true. I mean, yeah. and the story was totally, totally good. I wish that they had, I guess, done more of a deviation away from whatever this book was. Because this book must have been fucking wild, man. Oh, this book was probably a trip. This book was insane. I regret judging all the people coming in, begging me for it <laughs> when okay. it first came out. That's because I was like, saw the name of it. Saw the name of it. I'm an asshole, I guess. I judge books by their covers, so heaven forbid nobody who shops for books like that. Oh, that's a boring cover. Let me check it out. Like, no, of course not. Um, I saw who was buying it, begging for it when it first came out and stuff when I was working at Barnes & Noble, and I was like, oh, this is probably Terrible. mid, at mm. least. At least mid, you know, because I've read, I, I genuinely have read some, like, super basic mystery thriller super basic like general oh, fiction and i'm just like bam bam t- t- turn the page turn the page turn the page like super into it but then i watched this movie and i was like oh shit <laughs> i should have read that book <laughs> like god damn like this shit's crazy <laughs> like this, this was a insane. wild book for this sure and it makes me want to <laughs> read this book even though i know everything that happens i want to know all the i think i would love the book though because, yeah. like, I did enjoy this experience. I was like, oh, like, it, like, gave me a panic attack. And then it ended, and I was like, what the fuck are you freaking so out you, about? And you I was like, enjoyed your panic oh, okay. attack. <laughs> yeah. Because I was like, Good. that, because I'm like, Good. that, that movie made me do that. <laughs> yeah, that, that movie does. That's a well made movie. That's it, a good movie. It was definitely a well made movie. In my mind. Movie. It and, was a well made movie with a bad either writing or acting or some combination therein. There, there was something going on. <laughs> for sure. There is something going on between the the acting and the writing. I will I will definitely give you that. I am just going to reiterate that overall, uh, this was a bad movie. <laughs> this was a bad movie, but that I would not watch again. <laughs> but <laughs> all of the post production was great. <laughs> so that's like really, so, really, it's like bad movie. So asterisk great post production. So what I'm hearing is. I hate this movie. I don't ever want to do this again. But it's cool that they made me feel that way. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. Yes. You're like, wow, that's cool that they made me have such a reaction to this movie that I'm like, I will never watch this shit again. Mm. Like, because that was kind of the point. Yeah, that's true. Again. I don't want that panic attack. Exactly. Exactly. The panic attack. Like, and I'm definitely not spying on my neighbors. No. No, it's no like I, uh, 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 Austin, you can attest to this. We just moved yeah. into our new house, part of the reason why we've been gone for a long time. But um, I made Austin, like, I was like, okay, we got to figure out how to close all these blinds, make it super impossible to see in here at night. So cause oh, I, can't, cause I can't see out, but I know they can see in. How do we close all this shit up? Because, like... I've seen I've seen a lot of these kind of movies before. And oh yeah, Nick not that I name not, one. not that I. Oh God, how much time do we have? How much time do we have? Um, not that I like do anything nefarious in my home, but I just yeah. like the idea of like, people being able to like open their blinds and be like, "Huh, Jacob's sitting there watching TV again." It When's he going to get up and do something productive? It's an you know what I mean? Feeling. That it's feeling. Thank you. Now that I see this movie, <laughs> I will have when the windows are open. Austin, Austin's like, I've never Exactly. Opened That's why I wanted to close them. Let me live them. in my happy little world with no Exactly. Movies. So, <laughs> hey, sun's up. Sun's up. Blinds open. 
Sundown, fucking close that shit. Bachelor in Paradise. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, it's not the Bachelor podcast. Yeah. No, but like, we've As- just said it so many times, it's like, I kind of feel obligated to be like, okay, so like, do we want to talk about <laughs> making a Bachelor, Bachelor in Paradise podcast? Because we Honestly, hinted it so we're much. We're done. Yep. I they didn't agree. There are, done, if you so. Google, that's Google, fair. look on one of your podcast <laughs> things and tell me how many there are. I bet there are at least like yeah. seven. Probably anyway, a million. I, I, so I, I, what is the no. final census or consensus? I mean, on this movie? for me, is it good? Is it bad? Oh, it's. I think it's amazing. I think it's a fucking amazing experience of a panic attack. I felt like it gave me the like the feeling of reading a uh, mystery thriller novel because, like we were talking about, like mm-hmm. the editing, it was like it felt like I was turning the next page while reading a book, which is hard to do. A la like, uh. Uh, comic screen. book movies mm-hmm. and like emulating like the shots from their source material is like okay I can kind of feel that that's cool I know this is based off a super popular book and there was plenty a lot of it was obvious you know I was like oh those are her nightmares about her PTSD like cool um oh it's probably the kid that they like put a hardcore <laughs> fucking like mental health issue on mm-hmm. and then it's like oh shocker of course it's Why? yeah uh unfortunately that also t- counterpoint <laughs> on, my, on, <clears throat> on myself um <clears throat> that's very uh hitchcocky to do because a lot of the old villains back in the day had mental health and stuff and this is like a hitchcockian based movie so well, it's the, like the addition of psycho into this movie right? in multiple ways also <laughs> pretty 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 interesting rear window into psycho into transition yeah like it oh. was, the transitions through all of it i was like wow what a roller coaster but <laughs> i'm not i'm still not hating it because i know that the whole thing is based off of something stupid <laughs> you know it's true. so it was comforting so it was like that's why i liked it so much because it was like a, a like Oh, like I'm, I'm down here. I'm down the rabbit hole. I understand the rabbit hole, mm-hmm. but it's based off of something so stupid. I know. I just need to watch the end of this movie and go, "Wow, what a trip!" So the panic, so I liked it. It was a good experience. The panic attack was a good experience for you. Yeah. Once you figured it out. Once I once I was like, "Oh, I'm caught up." It was the fucking kid across the street the whole time. This is so <laughs> stupid. But my heartbeat's still up. Let me give me the falling action to call me back down and go, wow, what a time. What a time. It what was a, time. a roller coaster. That's why I like it. But maybe the reason that I overall didn't like it, in my overall opinion, is like a thumbs down. Is that I didn't figure out wow. <laughs> that it was trying to give us a panic attack the whole time. Well, no, it's not even that. That was just, again, that was my personal experience. I just thought, like, I was like, huh. Again, also, half, like, 20 minutes into the movie, I was like, I like this movie. I think I'm going to argue that I like it. And then I found that <laughs> along the way. You know what I mean? If I If I had to go into it being like, oh, I don't like this movie, I could... I could have found plenty of things, for sure. Agreed. But same way the other my way. experience, I was like, damn. Like, it's been a while since the movies, like, took me on such an intense roller co- coaster, even though at the end of the day, it was kind of dumb. And I was like, yeah. I was like, I didn't expect it to be a, like, Fast and Furious, like, adrenaline ride, or, like, a very basic horror movie mm-hmm. that's, like, like Annabelle. Like, that's the modern ones. It's like, ah! And then, like, you walk away, and you're like, whoo, that was crazy. Like, Compared to like horror movies that are like you think about for like days, which I hate and stuff. No, those like are the best. Austin, Austin's no. making that same gesture. She and I both. No, hate those, those are the movies. those are the best ones. I didn't think this was gonna be a roller coaster movie. I thought this was gonna be just like a mm. like a eh, interesting, fun story. Like I thought I was gonna go lean more towards like oh, like 
ooh, oh, what a fun oh, mystery. Okay. Like, oh, here we go. And so, and then I didn't, but I liked that I didn't. I was like, damn, that was a lot more intense than I thought. And I respect it. It, it was a roller coaster because, again, there were so many unnecessary elements, but they did make it fun to watch. So, like, all of those crazy ups and downs that were and totally for unnecessary. It. And yeah, I'm there that's for true. It. It, made, it made it a good watch and it made it, like, good to talk about too and like throughout we were having fun oh yeah we had a good time being part. like hey uh i gotta go to the bathroom real quick and i'm just like in the bathroom like <gasps> <laughs> recovering from a panic attack and then grabbing another beer and being like this will help me calm down it didn't <laughs> it, it, it did, didn't it no didn't point. you know what did help you calm down them revealing the serial killer in the end yes and as soon as i was totally like fine. As, again as soon as i was like this is fucking stupid so I was fine. This, and I was like, this has all been worth it. It was so cool. It's not, weird. Not leveraging the serial killer as like a terrifying Here plot point ahead of time uh -huh. was a big miss. Like, what wouldn't there be more terror if you like thought that there was a serial killer lurking around your neighborhood? Yeah, but at the same time, the, the, the serial killer was a part of the family that just moved in. They just got there. You know what I mean? Like so yeah, how like, how do you how do you casually incorporate oh they, weird they, things have been happening? They could have done a better job with that part, I think. <laughs> or they could have made it, you know, a non-serial killer plot point and it could be that the kid didn't just love killing. But how do you wonders. but how do you take a character and make them evil by giving them a mental illness? And then also at the same time turning it from rear window into psycho without doing that. You add vertigo and then you, you oh. subtract you subtract the actually amazing Alfred Hitchcock. And wow. then you end up with a subpar movie. And that's my final decision on this that I do not do. I'm gonna go ahead and say right now, everything you just said is completely valid <laughs> <laughs> holy shit yeah you're right you're right but i will say i did enjoy this movie uh even after that i still you're, you're completely right but like that, again that was part of my lore to it i was like oh yeah let's go this is gonna be fun and definitely not be scary and then i was like oh my oh god my this god, is scary. scary and i was like well, I did not e expect that trip. <laughs> it's so true. That was cool. So I like it because it took me on a completely different journey than I thought. Um, so you... Me, I know I hate it. I feel like Austin and I both were like, we didn't want it to be scary. and Even after my big final speech? Yeah. Just now? Sorry. Did you, were you listening to what I just said? No. Oh my God. <laughs> yes, I was. Oh, that's even, that's worse. <laughs> I wish you hadn't been listening and I could have been like, well. Nothing will change my mind. I don't like feeling that way watching movies. That's fair. And that's completely valid. I usually, again. Give me a fun murder movie as, as, and, the murderer. as Antine said earlier, if if I had watched that by myself, I would have been like, that's a forbidden movie. <laughs> yeah, Never again. No hey, have you ever seen this? And I'd be like, no. no. And just be like, I can't talk about it. And they'd be like, what the fuck, Jacob? Why are you shaking? Why are you <laughs> like, visibly shaking right like, now? Like, well, this panic yeah. attack really fucked me up. Oh, yeah. It would have <clears throat> it would have fucked me super hard. But that didn't happen. So <laughs> it was I. But, yeah, it, it it's a little too intense for what you're signing up, what you think you're signing up for. Mm -hmm. And I think, yeah, I can get behind. I can just enough get behind being like, because that, that was a very specific movie to me. But like it's Netflix, huge cast. Fair. Like honestly, it's like it's not like they tricked you into it, which like I can appreciate. But like Netflix, great cast. Oh my god, there's one of the Avengers Falcons in the movie, even just a little oh, bit. Yeah. Like everyone's oh he was great. Yeah, everyone's gonna watch it, and then they like trick you into that heart. It's like come on, of course it got bad reviews. People weren't ready for that. That's not what they were expecting. It's like. <laughs> I like that it was an unexpected, but at the same time, it's like, it's also kind of annoying. It's like, I, I signed up for a different experience, man. I didn't go specifically to the theater to see this movie, to see what was up with it, because I'm a huge douche about movies. Mm. I do do that, but I couldn't do this movie with Netflix because it just came out on Netflix. So what do you want me to do? I'm like, oh, this will be a fun murder mystery movie. Amy Adams is good. And then you, it just ruins your whole fucking day. <laughs> like, 
was just out of like, nowhere. oops, I'm just put this on in the exactly. background and now I'm uh, exactly. and now and now I'm fucking trauma. hooked. Austin was trying to do some fucking laundry in the middle and was like, Hold on, what just happened? Catch me up. <laughs> like, why is there a car in the living room? Yeah. And then still fucking hated it. She was like, I'm hooked, but she was like, Never again. What a fucking terrible movie. Well, I'm interested in a murder mystery. I like to guess and see if I'm right. So I wanna know what happens, but I don't care to actually watch. Exactly. I, I think we I think we all thought that's what this movie was gonna be. We so hoped. even though I did appreciate it in a different way, I think like I can put it in the like I put it at, like you asked me earlier. I'm gonna officially do it. Ten out of a hundred. I think I'd give it like a a fifty eight. I'd watch it again, but like that's failing. That's our no. Longer. It's still no. Exact. Exact. I'm. I'm. Antine wins. Lower and than Austin, I with that. the help of Austin, because Austin no, also hated this movie. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, no, no, no. I, y'all both hated the movie. Y'all agreed more than <laughs> more than you and I did. Um. So, yeah, fifty eight. Like I'm like I wasn't expecting that. That's not what I wanted, but it had enough for me to go it again and look at it from that scope and be like okay that's better than i thought i just wish it had been different or i knew more of it being like super intense compared to like kind of casual and fun you know what i mean so 58 which is failing what's your failing man honestly not that much lower because i'm not gonna say that i totally hated it hated it it's not for me but there are plot, parts of it that I feel like could be really good. So my choice good probably moments, yeah. like low forties. Oh yeah. Failing for sure, but uh, oh yeah. But like I don't want to say overarchingly bad movie because I I feel like <sighs> I think it's a bad movie, but I can see why other people would like it. I think if it hit theaters, even it w- could have flopped because actually yeah a lot of people might have gone and been like oh it's gonna be like a oh we'll go get lunch and then go see this movie and then go shopping and then 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 they're like i gotta go home i can't be here (laughs) i can't be here i'm outside and they're freaking out they're agoraphobic all of a sudden and all of a sudden everyone is just getting uber eats exactly everyone all of a sudden everybody's just netflix is doing great now binocular binocular sales skyrocket (laughs) like you know what i mean so never, I think it also never. could because people oh, but the main reason I think it would have flopped is because people would have been like yeah it's not what you think like just watch it later at home like mm-hmm. it's not what you want to pay to go to see it th- in a theater Unless you know you want to be so afraid. exactly so yeah it's definitely a gnaw for me dog to be honest double gnaw all right, and the podcast, like, subscribe. Bye. <laughs> do it all for me. Do it all for me. Be like the kids in my class. Antine one, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Austin, do the do the outro. Oh no, I, I, I don't have one. You're just gonna tease I'll it. Just make You're it just fun. gonna tease it like that, and then just not do it. Yeah, I was just trying to wrap it all up. No, you have it? a Wait. bad um, habit of not wrapping things up quickly enough, and I feel like your <laughs> listeners um will appreciate me. See, but you also understand that. You just made it so much longer <laughs> by talking you about it. <laughs> oh no, absolutely not. Absolutely <laughs> not. Um anyway, follow me at bad <laughs> <laughs> follow me. Follow me at bad movie de- at, at bad movie debate on uh Instagram. It's the only thing I fucking use for this podcast. Twitter's stupid. Um yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll post a poll about like, you know, if this movie's good or bad, what you think. Because like, I think we all think it's bad, right? Antine? Yes. Austin? Duh. Me? Uh? Duh. But I'll give in. Yeah, it's it's bad. It's bad. It's fine. Um, Tell me I'm wrong. Um, That'd be fine. <laughs> Bye. Night-night. Bye.